I want to make a movie someday, independently funded, but if I if some coke-headed Jew fronted me the budget to do it right now, to do the movie that I wanted to do, it would be an Oscar bait movie about George Floyd and Derek Chauvin, but it's a it's a love story and it starts out as a regular thriller. It's like a uh, cop versus criminal where they're not entangled, but they're both near the system. George Floyd is a uh, down on his luck, but charismatic uh, drug addict uh, slash porn star and, and counterfeiter. That figures into the plot as well. Uh, and Derek Chauvin is this uh, homophobic, deeply but, deeply, but he's gay. That's his quandary. So he comes on, home to his wife and beats her with a, I was going to say garden tool, but most likely he uses hands as cops do because they can get away with it. They're the only ones who can get away with domestic abuse. So they don't have to worry about, you know, having a glove like OJ and shit because they're going to get away with it anyway. Uh, so how George Floyd and Derek Chauvin meet up is not. It's not the first time. When the event happens, when George Floyd eventually croaks, that's not the first time these two meet. So they have this whole backstory that's fascinating and intricate and full of emotions and passion. So D. Chauvin is a regular cop on the beat and he's investigating um, the looting. He's investigating looters and criminals in general. And he's an alcoholic and all this other shit, and he's and he's really a destructive guy. And uh, and then one day, George Floyd comes up to him and he say like, "Yo, you got a nice ass knee, nigga." And then it's like foreshadowing. You see, that's going in the trailer. <laughs> and so, but this relationship culminates between the two. And at first, they try to deny it. But, like, the more encounters they have, the more they can't deny it. And eventually they end up sleeping together. And and it's not a graphic sex scene in my mind because I'm really not into that shit. It's a respectful, you know, PG-13, uh, uh, just regular, almost platonic, but not quite platonic. And then one day their paths inevitably cross again. It might be after a few months after their affair, but there's still, like, that that lust and and denial and passion uh, but because Derek Chauvin is in denial of his own feelings for George um, and he's a cop so he has to do his job once George Floyd is found out for the crime of having a phony $20 bill well we know what happens next and it's going to be filmed in up close and very personal detail uh, but we're going to understand it now like we never have before and uh, this film is going to be a hit I think I think it's gonna be a sleeper hit, not for everybody but I, I expect it to win a ton of awards and I want it to be called the knee <laughs>